it's time. I'm not going to leave you hanging for that much longer, but um, I wanted to talk about a couple of other things first before we reveal how much it weighs. Like I said before, stock NA Miata, NA is the first generation, in case you guys aren't Miata guys you don't know, the stock NA Miata weighs about 2,300 pounds-ish, give or take, depending on options and transmission selection. This car was an automatic transmission car to start with, and it is not anymore. So, we've done a couple of different things. We got the lazy eye conversion, the motors wouldn't fit with my air intake, which is functional ram air right here. It looks kind of cool. And because of Ford versus Ferrari, I love the yellow headlights. I've got yellow headlights on it now. These are aftermarket LEDs, all the stuff's converted. So we've got the Wilwood brakes on it. It's a 12 inch front rotor, uh, V8 Roadsters package. Big brakes on the back as well. On the inside, it's pretty much stock. Like we said, we've got the Blackbird Fabworks roll bar, stock seats, insulation, lots of insulation, lots of insulation. This is really cool. It's the low car uh, clockable directional shifter. Uh, I've got it set to where it just sits nice. It just feels great in your hand while you're driving. We've gone ahead and done all the interior, uh, reapplied color onto the interior panels. Inside the trunk, it's a stock carpet. There's a big Optima yellow top right there. Great batteries, great cranking battery, good, lots of good power on reserve. Right here, we did Raptor liner, color tinted to match. Just a kind of a fun little thing. Kept the VIN stickers, because I learned my lesson at Beacom on that. Anyway, um, these little stanchion guys came from Amazon or Car McMaster. I, I can't remember where. I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up or not, but when you talk about driving position, I'm just sitting in this thing really nice. It's super, super comfortable. I can keep my focus where it needs to be out the driver's side. And on the inside, we've got the Holly 6.86 dash. It looks really cool. You can do different dash configurations. You can swipe them left and right, all kinds of different things. Um, we've got the handheld sitting there in case we want to dial in uh, engine controls or something like that. Um, these gauges, TC Panic put these in. I like them red. It's a boost gauge and a fuel gauge. We do have the option of a fuel gauge on the Holly dash, but I would have to reconfigure it. And they're small enough as it is. I want to know because we've got the tiny tank. It's really tiny. It's 11 gallons, and I want to know when I'm close to running out with this thing. And surprisingly, I think it gets pretty good gas mileage. Anyway, there's a little bit of the interior layout for you guys. Um, it's just a super comfortable little Miata. I've never been accused of being tall, so I fit this car really well. But I've got a friend in Huntsville that, um, oh, I shut the key off. He's got an NB Miata. He's just doing an LS conversion on it. Dan is his name. He's about 6'3". He gets in and out of his car. No problem at all. So, we've added some weight to it. Exhaust, T56, 8.8 uh, center section. It's a cast iron center, center section out of a Thunderbird. Um, so we've added some weight to it. We had a lot of guesses uh, that were very, very close to what it actually weighs. And I, I used Ian Johnson's scales. And, um, you know, everything from the subframe, the frame connectors, um, I didn't worry about weight. I didn't worry about weight with this car. I typically do with hot rods that I build because weight is a killer, you know. Every 100 pounds you can take out is a tenth on your ET. I'm not gonna drag race this car, I don't care. We're way overpowered with this thing anyway. So it was fine to have a nice insulation package. So we've got lizard skin sprayed down there. We've got some of the asphalt tiles. We've got a really nice, um, die cut DEI insulation kit that's specifically made for these cars. So it's really well insulated. So I wanted to, that nice thuddy uh, quality feel to the car. And we've got that. And you know, you can hear the exhaust. Of course you can. But um, what my point is we didn't spare uh, any weight making the car comfortable. So brrr, drum roll, Chevy Chase style. The curb weight is 2,701 pounds. 2,700 pounds, 
So we added, we added 400 pounds. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We added 400 pounds to this thing, uh, and the important thing is um, it doesn't care. At 2,700 pounds is still super, super skinny for um, for a hot rod. Uh, if our power numbers are correct, according to Lance Drager at uh, R&D Performance Specialties, we're around five and a half, something like that. Um, anyway, uh, the weight bias is the interesting thing. It is 57 to 43, 57% front, 43% rear, and that's not great. You know, the typical gold is well-balanced. Porsche 911 is, is 49, 51, whatever. Uh, we're not going to get there. We can dial in spring rate in the back and balance it out a little bit more. But I'm here to tell you, it doesn't feel... Um, it doesn't feel crazily nose heavy. It just doesn't. It gets really good traction. I think part of that is due to the suspension design as well as the BF Goodrich tires. They're 200 Treadwear Rival S tires. They're just really good tires. And they're sticky. Um, they're probably not great in uh, cold weather, for sure not in, in that cold. It, it tends to get a little bit looser when the cold, uh, when I'm driving in the cold, which is right now. I took it around the block yesterday, and man, it just reaffirmed how much I absolutely love this car. So anyway, those are the numbers. 2,700 pounds, 57 to 43 weight bias, um, and I will get you verified dyno numbers soon on this thing. Thanks for playing. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday. Uh, if you're watching this after the holiday, I hope you had a wonderful holiday. So, um, more later on the Rocket Miata.